Baritone and tuba valves are different than trumpet valves in that oftentimes you'll have a student who has the right valve in the right slot on their instrument and it won't play right. So why is that? Sometimes the valve will spin, sometimes it won't spin, and the instrument doesn't play. And you'll say, well, you have the wrong valve in the wrong slot. And they'll look at it and they've got the number two in the number two slot, the number three in the number three slot, and it's very frustrating. Well, here's what's going on. Trumpets have that's like automatic, right? It's built in, you've got the spring inside the valve and the valve guide is held in place, but tubas and baritones aren't built like that. What happens if the student turns the valve to the left, lefty loosey, and this guide loosens up and spins there's a, a dot here on the guide that holds it into place right here. On the top of a baritone or a tuba valve, there are two holes that that valve can lock into. One of them is intended for the valve guide and the other one is intended as a vent so that the piston can quickly move up and down and allow air to go through. So if that stem comes loose and allows the guide to spin and go either into the wrong hole or just spin freely, then the ports in the side of the valve won't line up with the tubing in the instrument anymore and it won't play right. Or sometimes it'll completely block the air. So all you have to do is reset that little bump in the valve guide back into its original hole and tighten the valve stem back down again. I would even advise maybe one little drop of thread locker on that stem so that it doesn't accidentally come loose again. Thread locker is great because you can, you can get it unthreaded, just not without wanting to get it unthreaded. So how do you know which hole is the correct one? Sometimes, often actually, when this comes apart, there's actually a silhouette of where the guide goes that you can see. But if your valve is really clean like this, it's usually the small one. There you have it. A quick fix that affects a lot of low brass players. They should be very happy to have that information. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. This is Paul Morganroth for windinstrumentconnections.com. Visit our website for more helpful tips for how to take care of your instruments.